Anyang, welcome back. So you're studying Korean, maybe you've traveled there already, or you might even live there. You're going to get asked what you think about being in Korea. And we all have our likes and dislikes, and that's exactly what today's conversation is about. Hey Billy, I'm back. Oh, hi KiCat, is everything okay? Oh, everything's great. Okay, like I was saying, we all have our likes and dislikes. So Billy, I've got this great idea, and I know you're going to love it. Are you sure? Your other ideas haven't been, well, appropriate for this course. Actually, I've been watching all of the lessons so far. Oh, really? Any thoughts? Well, to be honest, they're a bit above my level. Sorry to hear that. Did you try watching my beginner Korean course first? Of course. I mean, I practically helped you make that. Eh, that's true. Then what's the problem? Well, it's just that you move a little too fast. I can't keep up. Hey, now that's useful feedback. So maybe you think I should speak a little bit slower or maybe go into more detail about each topic or- No, no, just slow down a bit. And maybe lower the pitch of your voice. L lower the pitch? Wait, KiCat, let me see your phone. You're watching my videos on double speed? I'm just, I'm busy with life and stuff. What can I say? <sighs> I'll ignore that. Anyway, so first let's listen to the full conversation once, and then I'll go over it in detail and see what we can learn from it. いろんな例のパッケットを取らずにもなんで。ね、チンゴがカナダへ住んで、ここにエアコンとじゃろって。ほい。でも、夜間は本当に気にしない。エチョエ、夜間は本当に気にしない。エチョエ、夜間は本当
and not yet even July or August when it's normally much hotter. Using pakke with andeda is a common way to say that it's only an amount of time. It can be used when counting time, but it can also be used when stating the time. Jo chukta is from jida, meaning to cook something by steaming it, and chukta, meaning to die, and means that the hot weather is cooking you. Since Korean summers can be humid, this expression can be used on the hottest days. Literally, jo chugul kot kata means I think I'm going to steam to death. 이런 날에는 밖에 돌아다니면 안 돼. On this kind of day, you shouldn't go around outside. 이런 날 means this kind of day and uses the adjective 이런, meaning this kind of. A more natural translation of 이런 can also be like this, so a day like this. The 음연 안 되다 form can be used to mean that someone should not do something or that something should not be a certain way. For example, 하다 becomes 하면 안 되다. And 먹다 becomes 먹으면 안 되다. 내 친구가 캐나다에 사는데 거긴 에어컨도 잘 없대. My friend lives in Canada and they said there aren't often air conditioners there. 태우 is a shortened version of the quoting form 타고 해우, meaning they say or I heard. For the verb 이다, meaning to be, instead use 이래우. And for anida, meaning to not be, use anireu. Here, opte is a shortened version of optago he, and means that the friend says or said that. Tire can be used together with opta to mean that there aren't often air conditioners. They're not common. <laughs> what? Then how do they live in the summer? Hol is a casual and slang expression that originally comes from hok, which is the sound of someone gasping in surprise. It can be used when you're shocked or surprised and can translate as what or uh-oh or wow, among other ways. Chineda means to spend or to pass time, but is also used to mean to live. Here, this could also naturally translate as to survive. 애초에 여름이 엄청 더운 게 아니니까 에어컨이 필요 없는 거지. Because summer isn't seriously hot in the first place, you don't need an air conditioner. Note that 필요가 없다 means to not need or to not be necessary. And the opposite is 필요하다, meaning to be necessary. Both are descriptive verbs and do not use the object marker. Here, note that 에어컨 is instead marked with the subject marker. 진짜 부럽다. 우리나라는 더운데 습도도 높아서 끈적하고. 그래서 더 더운 것 같아. I'm really jealous. Korea is hot, but I think because it's also humid, it's sticky. Therefore, it's hotter. Note that 우리나라 without a space means Korea, while 우리나라 with a space simply means our country. 그러니까... 난 여름마다 다른 나라 가서 살고 싶다는 생각이 들더라니까. Right? I'm telling you, every summer I get the feeling that I want to go to another country and live there. 여름마다 is a combination of 여름 meaning summer and 마다 meaning each or every or whenever and means each summer, every summer or whenever it's summer. 살고 싶다는 생각 is from 살고 싶다고 하는 생각, which uses a quoting form and means feeling that I want to live. 돌아니까요 is originally from 돌아고 하니까요, which uses a quoting form. Remember that 돌아고요 is used to describe something that the speaker personally experienced and can simply be thought of as the past tense. While 돌아고요 can translate as I remember or I recall, adding 니까요 to the end adds emphasis to what the speaker has just said and can translate naturally as I'm telling you or that's what I'm saying. It's an informal form, so it shouldn't be used in any formal or more polite speech. 
완전 공감이야. 근데 그래도 난 우리나라에서 사는 게더 좋은 것 같아. I totally agree, but still, I think living in Korea is better. Wanjun is a slang adverb and means completely, totally, or just so. Kongam means sympathy, or when you feel the same way as someone else. It's a noun and is normally used with verbs such as hada, meaning to sympathize, nukida, meaning to feel, and others. But it can also be used on its own in casual speech, or with the verb ida, meaning to be, to mean that the speaker sympathizes, agrees, or relates with something. 하긴 다른 나라에 가족이나 친구가 있는 것도 아니고 말도 안 통하니까. Yeah, it's not like I have family or friends in another country, and because I can't even communicate. Hagin, originally a shortened version of Haginan, is a spoken expression that's used when the speaker agrees with something. 친구가 있는 것도 아니고, literally means it's not even having friends, and uses the form 도 아니다, which means that something isn't even. Here, 있는 것도 uses the ing form of ita as innen kot, so having friends. In speech, this form can naturally be used in a similar way as saying, it's not even like. Mari tongada means that people can communicate or speak with each other and be understood. Here, maldo an tongada means to not even be able to communicate or to not even speak the same language. 그것도 그런데 우리나라 건강보험이나 병원 시스템이 최고인 것 같더라고. That's also true, but I think Korea's health insurance or hospital systems are the best. 그런데 is from 그렇다, meaning to be so, with the 대 form, and means it is so. Here, 그것도 그런데 means that is also so, but more naturally can translate as that is also true. 최고 means that something is the best or the top, but in informal speech can also naturally translate as awesome or great. 맞아, 우린 감기 걸리면 병원 가잖아. 미국에 있는 친구는 감기 걸려도 병원 안 간대. 보험 있어도 비싸서. That's right. For us, if we catch a cold, we go to the hospital, right? A friend that's in America said they're not going to the hospital even if they catch a cold. Because it's expensive, even though they have insurance. 감기에 걸리다 is often said as 감기 걸리다, but can also optionally add e. Note that 간데 uses the 대요 quoting form, which is a shortened version of 간다고 해. 나도 들은 것 같아. 그리고 그거, 대중교통. I think I heard that too. And also that, public transportation. Note that 듣다, meaning to hear or to listen, conjugates as 들어요, or hear as 들은 in the past tense adjective form. Also note that 그리고 is used when adding more information to a new sentence, and can translate as and also, and then, or in addition. 대중교통? Public transportation? Oh, 난 무서워서 운전도 못 하는데 솔직히 우리나라는 차 없어도 되잖아. Yeah, I'm scared, so I can't even drive. But honestly, for Korea, even if you don't have a car, it's okay. 하긴 그것도 맞지. 나는 배달. 우리나라 배달이랑 택배 배송 최고야. Yeah, that's right too. For me, delivery. Korean deliveries and package shipping are the best. 맞아, 맞아. 배달 안 되는 거 없어. 택배도 오늘 주문하면 다음 날 바로 도착하고. Right, right. There's nothing that can't be delivered. For packages too, if I order today, it arrives right away the next day. Maza maza is simply maza repeated twice in a row for more emphasis. Remember that the passive voice is commonly used as an indirect way to say that someone or something can or can't do something. 
Here, pedar an denen got means a thing that is not delivered and is passive, but can translate more naturally as a thing that can't be delivered. But that's why I'm not going to die. 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 But so I'm saying I can't lose weight. Because while working overtime at the company, I keep eating delivery food. Sari bajida comes from sar and bajida meaning to fall out and literally means that flesh or fat falls off your body. When someone is actively trying to lose weight, use sar beda meaning to lose weight instead. Taku is often used when criticizing to mean that someone or something keeps doing something. There's nothing wrong with a late night snack. The overtime work is at fault. Mmm, yagun shilta. Kunde unuldu yagun ya. Yeah, I dislike overtime work, but today is also overtime work. Shirta, meaning to dislike, is also commonly used to mean to not want or to hate. Here, yagen shirta could also translate naturally as I hate overtime work. Himne, hoite. Cheer up! Let's go. Himneda is used to tell someone else to cheer up. Fighting is the Korean version of the English word fighting, although how this expression came to be is unknown. It has a similar meaning as telling someone to cheer up, but is also used when cheering someone on. Let's go, you can do it. Note that although the official spelling and pronunciation is fighting, you will also commonly find it written and pronounced as fighting. Especially from the older generation, by itself it's a casual expression, but can also be used in other situations by attaching heo or haseo. Now that we've gone over everything, let's listen to the full conversation one more time completely and try to follow along using what we've learned. 오늘 진짜 덥다. 나땀 뚝뚝 떨어지는 거 봐. 나도 등다 젖었어. 아직 6월밖에 안 됐는데 쪄 죽을 것 같아. 이런 날에는 밖에 돌아다니면 안 돼. 내 친구가 캐나다에 사는데 거긴 에어컨도 잘 없대. 헐. 그럼 여름에는 어떻게 지내? 애초에 여름이 엄청 더운 게 아니니까 에어컨이 필요 없는 거지. 진짜 부럽다. 우리나라는 더운데 습도도 높아서 끈적하고 그래서 더 더운 것 같아. 그러니까. 난 여름마다 다른 나라 가서 살고 싶다는 생각이 들더라니까. 완전 공감이야. 근데 그래도 난 우리나라에서 사는 게더 좋은 것 같아. 하긴 다른 나라에 가족이나 친구가 있는 것도 아니고 말도 안 통하니까. 그것도 그런데 우리나라 건강보험이나 병원 시스템이 최고인 것 같더라고. 맞아. 우린 감기 걸리면 병원 가잖아. 미국에 있는 친구는 감기 걸려도 병원 안 간대. 보험 있어도 비싸서. 나도 들은 것 같아. 그리고 그거. 대중교통. 대중교통? 어, 난 무서워서 운전도 못 하는데 솔직히 우리나라는 차 없어도 되잖아. 하긴 그것도 맞지. 나는 배달. 우리나라 배달이랑 택배 배송 최고야. 맞아, 맞아. 배달 안 되는 거 없어. 택배도 오늘 주문하면 다음 날 바로 도착하고. 근데 그래서 내가 살이 안 빠진다고. 회사 야근하면서 자꾸 배달 음식 먹어서. 야식은 죄가 없어. 야근이 잘못한 거야. 음, 야근 싫다. 근데 오늘도 야근이야. 힘내. 화이팅. And that's all for this lesson. Remember that natural Korean conversations can range in difficulty from beginner level all the way to advanced. So take your time, practice everything in this lesson, and I'll see you again in the next lesson. 그럼 다음에 또 봐.